Hello students. So today we are going to learn about the new experiment. The experiment title is Navigate the iOS. First of all, by using the below link, you will get these three files. In these three files, there is a Cisco Packet Tracer practice file. So you just double click on it and open the Cisco Packet Tracer practice file. Here you will find three windows. The first one is a user profile. In user profile, you write down your name, write down your email ID, and in additional info, you can write down any other information and then click on OK. Now the other window is all about the instruction. Here you will find the instruction to perform the experiment. And the third window where you are going to perform the experiment. So total three windows are there. So now adjust your window like you can read the instruction and the same time you can perform the experiment. So here what you can do you can use a windows and uh, left side alter key and uh, you can open this pt activity file that means instruction file in the side by. So here we are having two window right now what we will do we will uh, read the instruction and the same instruction we will follow here. Once we complete all the instruction here we can see that there is a column of check result. So when I click on this icon check result it will uh, check the result and uh, it will give me the result if I have done experiment in a proper way or not. If anything is lagging it will uh, show in the result. Here you can see that back and next uh, icon is also given it is to move between the pages but right now here having only one page so there is no other page. So now I will read the instruction over here and I will perform experiment over here. So here we can see that the experiment is having a three part. One is establish a basic connection, access the CLI and explore app. Second part is explore the execution mode. Third part is set the clock. So first we will start with the first part. In the first part we need to establish a basic connection. So let us start. So what we will do, we will connect PC1, this is a PC1 and this is a switch1. So we will connect this to devices. So first of all to connect device I need a cable. So this is the icon, this is a flash type icon. Uh, if you connect, uh, click on it, you can see that various cable are there. So you choose any required cable or any appropriate cable. So here the appropriate cable is console cable which is having a blue color. So I will take this blue color. Now I have selected this cable. Now I will click on PC1. As I click on PC1 it gives me option where you want to connect this cable. So uh, as it is a console cable I will connect it with the RS232. Now I will connect switch with the computer. So I will click on a switch. In a switch it shows me uh, so many options like Giga Ethernet, Fast Ethernet and console. So uh, to operate the switch to configure the switch I need to go to the console. So I click on a console. So now you can see that there is a connection uh, already set up between the switch and PC. Now step 2 that is a establish a terminal session with S1. Now uh, through this computer I am going to operate this switch. For that I need to use the terminal of this computer. So I click on a PC1. You can see that this window is there. Uh, here in this window I will go with the desktop. In a desktop there are so many icons and I will select the terminal. Please don't get confused with the terminal and command prompt because that will look like same. So we need to use the terminal not command prompt right now. So I will click on a terminal. Here in a terminal you can see that some details are there. You need to set this detail. But right now we don't need to change anything. Here there is a question like what is the setting for bits per second. So here we can see that bits per second is 9600. So not that answer. In your question file see here there are some question and uh, that question will be from this experiment so write down the answer is 9600 uh, we are not changing anything I will just click on ok so now you can see that I am in the switch configuration mode or I am in the switch you can see that see this is S1 S1 is the switch name so now through this computer I can configure this switch and this is the way how you can connect it. Now here the other question is what is the prompt display on the screen. So prompt display you can write this answer S1 and greater than. 
so this is called as a prompt display over there now uh, step 3 in step 3 they says you uh, we are right now in the user execution mode and uh, what we can do in this execution mode so for that you can write a question mark so as I write a question mark you can see that just press a shift and question mark it will show me it will show me that what action I can perform question mark is basically a help so it is going to help you that what you can do in this your execution mode now uh, there is a question that which command begins with the letter C so what I need to do I will uh, type the C and then question mark so let us check C and question mark so I can see that there is the one command that is connect so answer is a connect now the question is at the prompt type T and then question mark so you can see that uh, I am going to type T and then question mark so you can see that there are three options telnet terminal and trace route so these are the uh, way that you can take the help from the prompt now the question is at the prompt type te and put the question mark so t is already there i will type e te and question mark so from te you can see that there is a two option available one is the telnet and terminal it will not show the trace rate because trace rate is start from tr so this is how you can uh, increase uh, step by step in the in the help format so you can say it is a context sensitive help format uh, that's it now i will move towards the part 2 i will uh, going to minimize it and here you can see that part 2 is explore execution mode what are the mode available in the switch that we are going to explore so let us see now in step 1 it says me to enter into the privilege execution mode so before that there is a question in this mode in the user execution mode what happen if I write the question mark so as we already know this is the answer when I do type the question mark now what is the information display for the enable command so I need to write the enable command so I type the enable and then to type en then press the tab see there is a tab cab in your keyboard so what you can do you just type en and then press the tab see it will automatically type the enable so now it is a enable and just give enter so now you can see that the icon has been changed after the s1 previously it was greater than right now it is a hash so you can say you are into the privilege mode so this is how you can switch between the mode if you are in the user mode just write down one command enable and now you will be in the privilege mode so another question is that what would happen if you type te and then tab so let us try by typing a command te and then tab so you can say uh, nothing happened because uh, there is a more than one command that begins with the letter te right so it will not provide enough character to make the command unique so character will continue to display and prompting the user for additional character to make the command unique so now uh, write down the enable command and what are the changes are there so first change is s1 greater than symbol change to the s1 has so that indicates you are into the privilege mode now you just type down the question mark so here you can see that the question mark that means this many command you can use while you are into the privilege mode so there are so many commands are there that you can use into the privilege mode now the question is how many command are displayed now that privilege execution mode is active hint is given that you could type c and then question mark so i will write c and then i will do the question mark so from the c there are clear clock configure connect and copy five command are available right so this is how you can find uh, the command which start from a particular uh, character now type the configure type the configure and what is the message that display so configure and then i will give the enter so this is the message see the answer is configuring from terminal memory or network terminal so that is a question mark then it says 
press enter to accept the default parameter that is enable in the bracket so you don't need to do anything you just press the enter so now you can see that the parameter or you can see that the prompt is changed from s1 has to s1 into bracket config has this is called as a global configuration mode for now if i want to go return go back i can use the and exit or control z right so if i press the end you can see that i am now into the privilege mode again so if you want to go back you can use and exit or control z so uh, let us try again with the another command for example configure terminal and then i will write the exit so you can see that it will do the same task so i have completed the second module second part now the third part that is a set the clock so let us check what is that part now in the third part it says use the clock command uh, type so clock and then check what is happening so i will type the so clock and uh, it give me the detail of the uh, utc monday march 1 1993 and uh, the time is there in the format of hour minute and second this is what it will show it is a detail of clock now the other instruction is given enter the command clock and press the enter so now what i will do i will just type the clock and i will give the enter so it shows me the incomplete command so here what happen this indicate that the clock command needs more parameter it is incomplete command clock is incomplete so why it is incomplete that you need to add more parameter that you have not added so any time more information when you need you can uh, take the help which is you can find by just typing the question mark with one space see clock then space and then question mark so now it will say me set set the time and date right this is the missing command and that's why it was incomplete command so what i will do so i will go again clock clock is already there then i will type the set and uh, then again i will uh, ask the question mark so it will show me that uh, you just type the uh, time in the format of hh mm and ss so here i will uh, go as per the instruction here clock set then 15 uh, 15 then 00, 00 and then again second is a 00, 00 again i will put one space and i will ask the question mark so it will say me that month uh, day of the month and month of the year you need to enter so here i will again uh, uh, enter the same here the date is given as a 31 so i will write as a 31 january 31 31 jan in 2035 so you can set the clock by this way so now i will give enter and now i will again check that so clock So here you can see that now the clock is as per our parameter January 31 2035 and it is 15 0 and then um, a second is also there so this is how you can set the clock now there is a one more step that explore the additional command messages like uh, uh, output for incorrect and incomplete command so what i will do so cl i will type the cl and what I, i i get in the return right so it is a ambiguous command cl that means there is no command from this cl i will go for the uh, clock as per the instruction if i say clock and if i give the return it will say me incomplete command so there is a ambiguous command that means there is no command like cl incomplete command that means that command need more parameter now uh, for example um, i i enter some incorrect parameter right so see as per the document clock set and then 25 we know that uh, it must be less than 24 but let us uh, do a mistake so if i give enter see what it shows it gives me this kind of arrow that means this is the indication where the mistake is right so it will show you that where you are doing the mistake so that is a very good help from the cisco packet tracer 
so again uh, i will uh, i will change the format and i will uh, try to find out some more information as per the document so now i am going to set the time and the date see again i type the 32 so it will show me that here at 32 i am doing the mistake because the date cannot be more than 31 right? this is how the entire lab is complete as per the document you need to uh, write the detail as per the document only you need to follow this document then and then you can get the good result so now after completing the command what i will do i will click on a check result and here it shows me uh, congratulations you have successfully completed this uh, laboratory my name will be displayed over here whatever the entered by me uh, assessment item are there right now there is a no assessment item so it shows a zero out of zero otherwise it will show you if you want to check the correct item if you want to expand collapse the option are given uh, if you are doing any connectivity test it will show you over here so right now i will get this message when i complete the experiment uh, thank you we will meet in the next session.